Adam Abrams. Great. Uh, Adam, you are welcome to take the podium. Yeah. Uh, so after Mr. Abrams, who is 40, number 44, we have Julie Martz and Melka Martz Oberlander. Okay, hi. Um, thanks to counselors and Mayor Robertson for the opportunity to speak here. I speak as a member of the Save the Heritage Coalition, and uh, but I also, like everyone else who's spoken today, I, I think I speak for a lot of people in the city who couldn't be here necessarily, but who feel very much the way I do. Um, I do support the seven measures, I believe it was, that were submitted to council um, um, recommendations of action on the Heritage Plan. I, uh, for myself, I was born in Montreal. I lived here as a kid. I, I uh, spent many years in the Toronto area and 11 years in California, but Vancouver always held a special place for me. And in 1994, I moved back here, and I've been here ever since, so 20 years. And uh, you know, of all the places I've lived, Vancouver is the one place that um, I'm really passionate about. It's, uh, you know, it's, it feels like my home, and I have a real sense of ownership and almost like a responsibility for it that I've never felt for anywhere else that I've lived. Um, the Hollywood means a great deal to me. I've, I've been there many times. I've, uh, I've enjoyed the authentic, you know, neighborhood movie house atmosphere. I've taken dates there on the balcony. I've enjoyed the popcorn. I don't actually live in Kitsilano, and I think that sort of emphasizes how important a building like the Hollywood is, not just to one neighborhood, but to the whole city. Uh, you know, and it, it's more than just a building. It's, it's, it's a familiar site. It's, it's a landmark. It's a community space. It's an icon of the entire city. Everyone knows the Hollywood. I think it's significant that Councillor Carr's uh, motion last month, which was specific to the Hollywood, was uh, modified into a request for this report. Um, and the idea was that that would address heritage more generally and not just the Hollywood. Um, and uh, what we have is a great report. I think everything in there should be followed. But you can't talk about heritage without talking about the Hollywood, especially right now, uh, when time is running out. So I think it's really vital that we use the Hollywood as a test case to show you know, how we can protect heritage and how we can preserve communities. So I urge Council to approve the measures, uh, especially the measures rep represented, uh, recommended by the Coalition. Uh, action 1, to consider only outright usage, apply it to the Hollywood. Uh, action 9, to, uh, to apply the Downtown East Side uh, Incentive Program, uh, expand that uh, to the Hollywood. And as a quick start item, and most importantly, to extend the moratorium for that full 120 days because things are being worked on and we really need that time. But there's an alternative plan that's being put together. I can see the Hollywood continue to be a vital community space, even better than it was before. Uh, you know, used not just for movies, but by arts, performance groups, uh, business groups. It can be a win for the community, a win for the owner, and for the city at large, but it's only going to happen if the city takes an active role and, and really comes to the table as a proactive partner in the process. So I, I urge you, I ask you to take those steps to protect the Hollywood for our heritage, for today, and for the future. Um, I'm also uh, an actor and a sometimes singer, musical theater guy. And uh, actually, Mayor Robertson, we, we met briefly, you probably don't remember, a few years ago. I was dressed as an elf at the time, so I don't know if you recall that. <laughs> Yeah, I was the world's tallest uh, elf, yeah. And, uh, but uh, be that as it may, um, I have something for you to kind of wrap things up here. And I think I'd like to say it in song. There's my mic. Let's save the Hollywood. There are so many reasons why we should. We sure don't need another fitness gym. We're already thin and we're starved for community space. Concerts, plays, there's so many ways. Our great green city could reuse this space. I mean the Hollywood. It is an icon of the neighborhood. It was a movie house for 80 years. Gave us laughs and tears. Now it could be something much more. So keep it standing tall because it's good for all. Let's save the Hollywood. <laughs> Somewhat surprisingly, there are no questions for you. So. Um, although I did want to clarify just for the factual record that this report actually arises out of a motion Councillor Deal brought to Council some months ago. So, yeah. 
<laughs> next time. I'll come to the next meeting with more material. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Uh...